what is up so today i got a goat video for you uh somebody asked me in the comments to do a goat video and i checked my match history and i had a kind of an interesting goat game so yeah let's get into it yeah so here moth change it's unfortunate when you only have one moth it does make your team a little bit weaker yeah we just lose this fight yeah the moth change makes me... I'm not ripping moths nearly as much. I think moth pair is still really good. And moth still is a good unit. It's just... You, you've kind of lost a little bit of your early game power. But here, losing the first fight for taking a moth, but getting the second moth means I'll be able to just win this fight or tie this fight. The only struggle with that is, is you don't really, like... Ideally, you win the first fight, so you put the pressure on them. Because this fight, it's like, it's kind of a lose-lose. Like, I have to either, like, ideally I tie. But if I don't tie and I win, they get snail value. So it's just, it, it's not a great situation. But we do get the tie. That's the best case scenario. Yeah, with the shrimp, I'm probably just going to buy them immediately. Cycle these beavers. I love cycling beavers. I've, on some boards, I've just been buy selling beavers with no shrimp on like turns three and four. I think it's a rare board. I don't even know if it's right, but I've been messing around with it. Here, I'm just keeping my board isolated for the shrimp stats and the bluebird stats. Let me hit another shrimp. Hopefully, I buy this shrimp before I sell this chilla. I do. I sell him now so he doesn't eat a bluebird buff, but it's only level one bluebird it doesn't really matter it's not a big deal i could have just saved the gold for next turn especially when i'm like having to freeze roll this beaver there's no way i'm passing up on that beaver my opponent hits early giraffe it's that's a pretty scary thing to see against turtle pack they're just getting a free one one a turn but having these shrimps makes it kind of okay i'm getting my own scaling of bluebird and shrimp my stats are just random, but I am getting more stats than he is. Here, I think I just ripped this apple. And the reason I'm not... I usually like ripping triples on turn 4 on this pack. Because most of your tier 4s are a miss. But when you have owl, or shrimp, or both, your tier 4s are become way better. Because llama and buffalo become good hits. Which I think I hit this game. Now, I think buffalo is so good that it's you should if you have shrimp or owl you should just hedge for buffalo. He's like a game winning pet. That's a really good draw. He's got snails so draws or wins. We have a bunch of good cycles here too, so hitting buffalo would be really nice. Yep. Now here, it's like I got to get rid of somebody. A lot of people I think half combine the shrimps, but not me because like I'm going to be. By selling so much, I'm going to get so much value. I'd rather just get this moth out of here so he's not going to eat up any of my shrimp stats. I keep the bluebird because he's also giving stats. So yeah. I think I sell moth. Yeah. And he, the moth was close to a triple, but I still can go for the shrimp triple. And with buffalo, I'm kind of just okay with just cycling everything. I'm not as like worried about getting a triple. I might, because of the gold, just sell... Yeah, I spy sell everything. With the shrimps... With two shrimps, this is just so much more worth. Like, our stats went way up. Like, what is... Before this turn, we had no buffalo, and then we end the turn with a 9-11 buffalo. Our bluebird went from a 6-8 to a 8-11. That's pretty good. And then we just insta-roll into the shrimp. So here, I know I'm going to have a second shrimp, I combine that shrimp just for bluebird. Like isolating the board, making sure your bluebird hits a good target. It's very important. I'm also confident that I'm going to win this round, and I don't need that 2 2 shrimp in the back to win it. But I might be wrong about winning this round. Oh, I'm actually fine. Yeah, now I'll bring the shrimp back in. Pretty sure I'll bring them back in before I sell. Yep. And I think I'm just going to cycle everything in the shop. I already have a triple. Yep. So 
weird toy bug and just a visual bug in the replays. I'm sure you've noticed a few of them by now. Yep. But we're for sure gonna win this round. Yeah, the buy sell board is like Puppy Pack usually takes a dip and a power spike in the mid game. Because you can hit early tempo and then have a crazy late game. But Buffalo is really good at actually just giving you mid game power. So here I'm going to combine my shrimp. And yeah, I have sh shrimp too. I have buffalo. This is just a good goat angle. Um, this video is kind of about goat. So let's talk about what times I like goat. Goat is one of my least favorite tier ups to be honest. But there are situations in which I like him. One is in the buy sell board. Of course, because you're buy selling, you're just making, you're getting money back. You're getting like two gold back a turn that you normally wouldn't have if you're cycling. And then I also like go on pivot boards. So if I had like goldfish and lobsters, or like my whole plan is to buy cans and pivot, I really like goat. I, I think in a pivot board, best hit is chicken. Obviously, you're getting a can every turn. And then the next best hit is probably goat. Just because on that pivot turn, you're going to save a lot of money. And it can make you have more money to roll for cans because you're probably buying every lobster you see. Or if you're doing a pivot board, you definitely should be buying every lobster you see. Here, this is a bunch of juicy cycles. The chinchilla. Chinchilla is the best, the best buy sell for buffalo. It's two cells. A beluga sturgeon pill, something to keep in mind when you're cycling. That it is only one gold to do this. A one gold cell is pretty good. Don't need another shrimp. Yeah, I just lock that beaver because I, I'd rather sell him at the start of next round with my goat value. I was kind of hoping for a salt, but I just say, oh, whatever, I'll take a garlic. I think locking the beaver is probably not good. We lose. I think maybe I won that if I back the shrimp. Who knows? Yeah, here because he has monkey normally toilet paper is a bad pickup into whale because you're going to be toilet papering something it eats but he's monkey buffing this whale so unless he's going to start fronting monkey which he, he could do which I, I doubt he'll do uh this is really good just getting weakness on that whale yeah we skip lobster this isn't a pivot board I wonder if I just buy, sell, end on tar, or do I just do a whole nother cycle? No, I'm just gonna end on salt. I think salt's fine. I'm really hoping by buffalo just kills the whale and then kills the kangaroo, but I think I, I definitely underestimated how many stats you could get on this whale this turn. Yeah. We still get there, but my positioning was for sure bad. What I positioned to happen didn't actually happen, so it's just bad. This chinchilla is just money. I guess he's like neutral. Yeah, here and th this situation is awkward. Luckily, I have four life because usually I want to be like buffalo cycling becomes bad at turn nine. Like I really just want to be looking for a tear up and getting dragon. But with the goat, I still just take my goat triggers. I think I'm going to end on Moza here, yeah. I wonder if I buy this lemon. I think the lemon was a fine purchase. This cycle another chinchilla. This is all kind of like not good. If I had two buffaloes, it would be better. There is a second buffalo. I wonder if I just pick him up. Yeah, and then I can just sell Moza next turn. Definitely want to give Goat this Moza stats, which I think I do. I think that other buffalo's in the back. Yeah, having this other buffalo is good because I can either go for a double buffalo line or I can just go level him up and hope to hit dragon. But the double buffalo is kind of good for playing around skunk or even like scorp. But my pack, my, this pack has a lot of answers to scorp already. Yeah, I'm just going two of them. But if I I still might combine them if I hit the buffalo triple. Probably not anymore. I do get the chocolate, yeah. I decide I'm not gonna combine them, so I just chocolate the goat. I still will like hedging this board for dragon. I have four lives. 
I would probably, if I didn't have this much life, I would be probably going for a different game plan. But even if I lose this next fight and go to three, uh, I'm just okay with going to dragon. Yeah, we fucking went tennis ball just to like possibly pop a melon or kill Scorp. We did kill Scorp. Makes him eat his gorilla, but turns out that's not a bad thing. He also gets snake. Snake is like an absolutely busted unit. But we'll come back to that. Oh, uh, that's Stonefish. I I'm just looking for dragon, but Stonefish is a good answer to this snake. Yeah, now I got my dragon. Do I ever switch up and go to toilet paper? Probably not. Yeah, I think I just want tier 1s. Yeah, and there's the best tier 1 cycle. Go. Yeah. Oh, I remember something. A mistake is coming up here. It's kind of like, it's not a mistake until... You, like, it's maybe a mistake. And you don't know until hindsight. In hindsight, this is a mistake. So yeah, I elect to just keep the Scorp, thinking I can like cheese around off of them with the Scorp. Uh, it does. I don't think it works out. And if I just sold the Scorp, I get four four stats. It's definitely worth just selling them. Look for more tier ones. And a, a lot of a good thing about goat and sauropod is when you have elephant seal and dragon, you really want them level two to get their like to become super valuable because they're kind of mid at tier one but they're like really good at tier two but if you have a level two sauropod or a level two goat it's kind of enough compensation for them to just be tier one and another factor my opponent's on two life so like i could at any time could just sell out of this dragon i don't have to commit to dragon scaling here i think that's a trap a lot of people would f just fall for like, I can just scale as long as I want, probably till I lose another life, and then I can just sell out of the dragon and go tech units. Yeah, the Scorp does nothing. We feed a tiger snake. Not so good. I'll probably scale with dragon the start of this turn, but probably will get out of it. Low replay. There we go. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't like that Scorp. Because that Scorp doesn't have 21 attack. But this Buffalo do have 21 attack. So Buffalo, if they're going like Big Whale, Snake, Tiger shenanigans, just getting a 21 attack Peanut is pretty useful. You're just trying to deny as many Snake triggers as possible. These Lemons are good too, just into Snake. It's going to help absorb a lot of that damage. You're basically taking um, 12 less damage from the Snakes. I'm keeping this other toy locked. I don't really have to. I, I think it, it's unnecessary. But in case I lose a round or tie a round, it's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna get there. So yeah, here I could just unlock the mongoose. Because there's other toys I could use anyways. Like even tennis ball is still not terrible on this board. It's kind of bad into gorilla. Good into the melons. Well, he'll just refresh his melon. Yeah, tennis ball is just bad. Yeah, here I'm like, I'm wanting to get out of this dragon soon, so I'm kind of just lock rolling, which is really bad for you have two lock rolls like this. But I, I do this a lot in a pack two end game. I'm just like freezing my options. I like to keep my options available. But I think this is probably the time I get out of this dragon. Like if I get something good like snake, yo yeah, yeah I'll take that snake. Yeah, he's yeah he's on lethal now, so yeah, I'm just going to get out of the dragon. And I have Peanut, so I'm assuming his answer. A lot of times, good pack ones players, their answer to Peanut is going to be front stake. Or front scorp, because you know how the old scorp, uh, big scorp versus small scorp goes. You know, it doesn't really matter their size. Peanut hits Peanut, nobody wins. So this kind of plays around him putting like a front stake on like some random unit because maybe even gorilla yeah it would even work against gorilla i'd feed him a coconut but that's a small price to pay for not get hit by a steak and th that's the same reason i like to uh switch from peanut to toilet paper which i i kind of i thought in this game about locking that puppy as a potential toy switch up 
But I decided to roll and then go for Garl, just because I can maybe kill his Tiger or kill his Well Summon. And yep, the Mantis Shrimp paid off, because he went front Scorp to counter my Scorp. We just deal with that. Yeah, and then our Snake kills him. Yep. Yeah, that was a Goat game. Um, more of so a Buffalo game, but Goat pairs really well with Dragon and Buffalo. Like, the only other time you're using Goat without Buffalo and Dragon is in, like, a pivot board, and you're just using him to make buying all your new units cheaper. You usually sell out of them in those games. But yeah, if you liked the video, like the video, maybe subscribe. Have a good one, everybody.